Compositing images can be incredibly difficult, but today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick trick on how you can place a logo onto a three-dimensional object using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. So to go ahead and do this, we're gonna to need two assets. If you have a look on my screen here, We've got a blank image of a can, which is gonna be our background photo. And if we go ahead and preview this, as you can see, I've just got this photo or logo of the Fanta. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this onto the three-dimensional can. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our can photo here. And what you'll need to do first before anything is to go ahead and cut out the area of the can that is going to be uh, overlaid with your logo. So as you can see, I've cut that out there with against the background. That is the most important thing to go and make sure to cut that out first. So what we want to do firstly is we want to go ahead and just simply drag and drop our Fanta logo or our logo over the photo here. Now I'm gonna go place it like so press enter to confirm. And what we want to do is to actually clip this to our layer below our layer here. So we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna go down to create clipping mask. And as you can see, that now has been applied to the layer below it. So what I'd recommend firstly doing is making sure it's in the right place. So as you can see, it's a little bit low for my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and press command T or allow you to free transform. And you can use the arrow keys to get it in the right position. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it in a position like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter to confirm. But at the moment, it just looks flat. So we want to add in that kind of three dimensional look by using highlights and shadows. And this is the technique that I've got. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that layer below and we're gonna go ahead and press Command J. That will duplicate that layer. Then we want to go down to the one below it and drag it all the way over to the top. So it, now it looks like this. Again, like the beginning. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and select that, we're gonna go to the blending modes, and we're gonna go ahead and drop it down to linear burn. And as you can see, that effect has now started to come through. But in my opinion, it's a little bit too strong. So I'd go to the fill layer, not the opacity, and go ahead and drop that down until you like that effect. So I'm gonna drop it down to around 60%. And as you can see, now this layer looks three dimensional. Here is the before, and here is the after, and wow, doesn't that look realistic?